a lesbian. Be, be a lesbian. Pillow talk. This is what I looked like when I was 19 years old. <laughs> I mean, the side ponytail was really in in 1983s. How do you express your feelings without it? We've kind of embraced our like inner teenager, I guess. I don't know. That's what a high pony says about me, know. really. I hope we've offended a lot of baby dykes with this outfit. Like the older you get, the lower your pony gets. Now I'm just, I thought it was like the higher. I just wear mine like right down here. I thought the higher your pony is, the lower your IQ is. It's pretty rude. No, it's a, a scientific study. We're talking about the Baby Dyke Starter Kit. Because I think a few of you watching are Baby Dykes. A uh, Baby Dyke is uh, basically a new, found, and out lesbian. And you can usually tell who's a new and out lesbian because they're super excited about being gay. So if you're new and out so... and you're like, I'm a lesbian, what do I do? We're gonna help you with some, the starter kit of like, just follow these steps, okay? And if you haven't done some of these and you're like, approaching former baby dyke status, you gotta get on it. <laughs> We've all done them. Number one thing you do as a baby dyke in your starter pack, which is kind of like a starter pack that you're creating for yourself. Yeah. Your own starter We're pack. We're giving you the, the, the tools, tools and you to need to create your own. Ikea build it. We're Ikea. So. You're the lesbian. consumer. Oh, right. The lesbian. You need to pick your OTP. Yeah. Very important. And this is like this is like when you're playing like a role playing video game and you get to like design your character yeah. and like pick what like kind of creature you are. Yeah, and what army you're belonging to. Cause it's you're just... gonna be this character for the rest of the game. Yeah. That's your OTP. You are taking this OTP to your grave, pretty much. Or until that, so sh that ship sinks. sinks. And even then, that is still your OTP. It's still your ship. Then you're like on a ghost ship. Here's how it works. Sarah's OTP, Zeta Gabrielle. Pick that from day one. Day one. Show's over. They're still my OTP. Show's coming back. OTP reborn. Okay, the next thing you want to do as a baby dyke is you're going to go to a pet store. And I know what you're thinking. No, you're not going to buy a cat. Right. You are going to buy cat treats. Cats can sense nearby lesbians. And they will just approach you. And you want to make sure you're prepared with cat treats. And you know what? You want your first girlfriend and she has a cat? Mm -hmm. You better get on that cat's good side. Catnip, cat treats, always in, in the pockets. your pockets. So the next thing you do is, you know, you were born, your like parents gave you your given name. It is now your turn to choose your gay name. And you're like, what is a gay name? Take Adriana, for example. That's not a very gay name. Adriana is a Victoria's Secret underwear model. Not this Not Adriana. Adriana. So I don't go by Adriana. My parents gave me the name Adriana and I'm like, thanks for that. Threw it out. I go by Age, which is a very gay name. <laughs> and it's not even really a name, but more of a word. <laughs> like if your name is Anastasia. That's not gay at all. You're Anne now. Just Anne. I'm lucky I was actually born with a gay name. Sarah and Kristen and Ellen. Those are the top three gay baby names. Yeah. It's like Ryan, Michael, and Jason for men. Okay, next important thing to do, um, we all do it, and that is get an ugly haircut. You might as well do it now yeah. while you're young and you still got a cute face and you can sort of maybe pull it off. Don't, don't wait. Everyone gets an ugly haircut, whether it's like some weird fucking bangs or a really short pixie cut or a mohawk. Mm -hmm. We all get it. We all think we're like, I think I can pull off Ellen DeGeneres' haircut circa 2003. You can't. So you need to commit to something. As lesbians, we are obsessed with commitment. To a fault. Doesn't mean get a girlfriend that you're going to just date for the next 20 years. Get a two-year cell phone plan, even if you already <laughs> have one. Girls need to know that you are capable of commitment. Mm -hmm. just, gym, that gym membership that you'll never use, just, just show her your card. You're yeah. like, I got a gym membership. I had to sign up for a fucking year. I'm not even going to go. you committed to the full but year. But I committed to it. I just wanted to go on that three-day free one so I could eat the... They have free smoothies after the workout. And that's all I wanted. Finally, the last thing you need to do in your baby dyke starter kit you need to get online 
and you need to find a long distance girlfriend because we all have one. Every lesbian has a long distance girlfriend. Even if you got a side girl that's just a few doors down, you got that long distance girl. <laughs> it's like the only way we can meet people is if they're in a different country. So start looking now because you're gonna get one and you're gonna have her for life because you'll never see her and there'll be no reason for you to fight. This was so helpful. Yeah. Why are we so good to you? I don't know. Do you know who would have benefited from watching this video? Taylor from our series, This is Taylor. Great segue, Sarah. I didn't even We're... see that coming. About a newly out lesbian. Yeah, she didn't do any of the stories. Who's trying to, you know, find the right girl. All the girls she dated were way too close by. But if you guys want to watch the whole series, there is a link <sighs> to a Vimeo page. You guys can go, you guys can buy the whole... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you is, laughing? This is Taylor series, all 32 episodes. Yay. What? What? Oh my god, no! Thumbs up for Baby Dykes. Thumbs up for Baby Dykes. Leave a comment with if you've done any of the Starry Kid already. And, and if you're newly out, you know, that's how you're gonna get dykes. your long term yeah. girlfriend. Look in the comments. For oh my baby god, dykes. dating extravaganza <laughs> about to happen. Thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. And Becky we'll with the good hair. Next. Monday. Here's one thing that I get obsessed with and I think a lot of lesbians do. Our exes. So, like so obsessed that you will unfriend them on Facebook just to prove a point, but then go into your friend's Facebook so that you can creep your ex to see who she's hanging out with and if oh, yeah. she's dating. 